Yes, we are back finally with an actual tutorial. Yes, I'm actually going to do a, a genuine tutorial for you guys today. It's been a long time. I'm actually not used to doing a video in this format, but I'm going to knock this one out quite quickly because I've got a ton of things to do in terms of moving things around. Uh, I'm making a couple of sound panels, which is taking up a lot of time. And yeah, it's just really, really, really busy at the minute. I, just haven't, I can't find any time. Oh yeah, and I'm also working on a free webinar for you guys for selling beats. I'm basically making it about the three biggest mistakes that I, that I see producers make and how to fix them. I'll, I'll let you guys know when I've dropped that, but yeah, that is that is on the way. Uh, but yeah, today I'm gonna show you my most used plugin when it comes to mixing, and this, and this one plugin cleans up everything. Now, quick disclaimer, it is a paid plugin. I'm not gonna beat around the bush, but just take a look. Take a look at how cheap this thing is. Hang on. If you can't afford $41, you know, now, just save up for a few weeks. Try and sell a couple of beats, you know, do what you can, but just honestly, like this, this plugin is so worth it and it's on sale. It's always, there's always a sale on at Waves. So, you know, whenever it is, just pick it up. It is so, it's so worth it. And I'm about to show you why it's worth it right now. Yeah. So the plugin's called Aphex Vintage Aural Exciter. It's by Waves. It's like a distortion slash like such, it's an exciter basically, which it, it, it really, really, really does a good job of cleaning up every sound and i'm going to show you how how good it is on just the drums how good it is on just the melody and how good it is on the 808 you can use this on every single on every single sound and you can use it on the master if you're lazy like me and by the way this is not a sponsored video like i've, I've bought i bought this plugin about maybe about a year ago now I've, I've made a couple of videos on it but i haven't really like directly said how good this thing is because I, I just wanted to test the water but literally after about nine months of using this thing like I could not recommend this this one enough. Like I use it in every single beat. It doesn't matter what beat it is, I use it. So yeah, I'm gonna jump in and show you. So I've got this beat right here. Okay. If you take a look at the mixer right here, I've already I've already got everything like separated into their own like sub bus. So I've got all the drums running through this drums bus, all the bass, and then all the melody running through this misspelt. But let me correct that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do first is show you how good this thing is on the melody. So so let's um, go ahead and add the exciter. And one more thing is the best thing about this plugin is that you only need to use this one preset and just play with this mix knob right here. That's all you need to do with this plugin. It's it's so good. So the preset itself is called PA default. And then what you're going to do is just start at zero and just crank it up until it sounds like clean as hell. That that's literally all you need to do. So. I'm going to play the beat, I'll crank it up and I'll, and I'll go too far so you can kind of really hear the effect that the plugin has on the sound and then I'll back off and then show you the before and after. So I mean it just gives it like a really, really even at like the fullest it's, it just gives it a really really clean like top end. It doesn't like boost the highs. I don't know what it does to it, but it just makes it sound so clean. Um, but I'm gonna back off to around eight, between like seven and eight, I think. Okay, so that sounds good to me. What I like to do as well with this is, only on the melody though, what I like to do is, because this gives it quite a lot of top end, and for a lot of those beats, especially in 2020, you wanna have that kind of old school, like sampled texture to the beat. Um, what I do is I crank this up and then I come over to this just this built-in EQ and just kick and just kill the high end. You know, you'd have to do it all the way, but you can, you know, just play with it until you get a sound that you're happy with. That is that sound on the melody. So here's a before. Okay, and then after. Madness, right? Absolute madness. Just gives it, it just it just sounds clean. Let me show you how this sounds on the drums. So I'm gonna solo the drums. That is the drums without the effect on it. I'm gonna add it again, exact same preset. I'm gonna start from zero, crank it all the way up until I can hear it. I'll go too far again so you guys can hear what it sounds like, and then I'll give you the before and after. So let's go. Okay, so you know it sounds it sounds way too overdone right here, but just wanted to show you guys like how how much of an effect it has on it. So yeah, let me back off a little bit. Normally with the drums, I go between like four and five. You don't want to go too harsh with the drums. So here's a before. I'll turn this off. Okay, 
after. Aye. So as you can see, super clean. I think if you guys, if you're watching this tutorial, I would recommend wearing headphones. It's not like a, a crazy obvious effect on the sound. This is mixing we're doing right here. This is mixing. So you have to be paying attention to the little details. So with this, with the drums, you don't want to add too much. You just want to add a little bit of top end, just give it a really nice clean top line texture. I don't know what it does. It, it makes it sound clean, but it's not harsh on the ears. So it, it is really nice. Let's put this on the bass and see what it sounds like. So I've got this 808 right here. Let me just solo it. Okay, right now let's add Aphex. And again, I'll go too hard so you guys can hear it and then I'll back off a little bit. Okay, so like if, even at full, like oh, it's so good. It, keep, it keeps the low end in there on the 808. The, the top end's like kind of distorted, but it's not like it's not like the fruity fast distortion where it just completely destroys the sound. It's just got like a smooth distortion on there. It's really hard to explain. Like I don't know how this stuff works. I know it, all I know is it sounds nice. So yeah, I'm gonna back off a little bit because it is too it is too crunchy for my liking. But um, anywhere between five and eight is normally a good range for the 808. It just depends on the sound you're using and, and like how you want the the 808 to sound within your beat. Uh, but yeah, let me just back off a little bit and make it sound nice. All right, that is sounding clean for me. Here is the before and after. After. Before. After. It's magic. It's literally magic. And again, with this one, exact same preset. All you got to mess around with is the AX mix right here, this big knob in the middle, and you're good to go. Cool. All right, last thing. Last thing that I wanted to show you is how good this thing is on the master now if you want to be lazy like me and just throw the soft clipper on there maybe maximus and then just push the beat super hard then you can use this on the master by itself but don't put it on sub buses and the master just put it on either the sub buses or the master okay hope that makes a little bit of sense but yeah i'm going to turn off the exciter that i've just put on the sub buses and then we're just going to put it on to the master and then you can really hear how it sounds with the full beat so okay so i'm going to put it in before the soft clipper and i'm going to add that in again exact same preset and we're just gonna crank it up. I'll crank it too far and then back off, okay. Okay, too harsh, but again, you can hear how like much of a top end it gives to it. So let me just back off. I think with the master, you don't wanna go too hard at all, anywhere between two and five. Do this by ear, don't try and look at the numbers too much. Just do it until it sounds nice and clean to you. Let me just do that. Boom! All right, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So let me give you a before and after of this with the master on. So here is before. After. All right, you are welcome. But yeah, that is the plugin. That is the plugin, and I use this, and I'm not kidding, I use this on every beat. If I'm lazy, I'll just use it on the master, or if I want to really go through each sound and, and make it tailored to, you know, the drums or the bass and the melody, then I'll put uh, then I'll put it on each individual subbus. But you can do either, and you can, as you can hear, like it just clean, it just cleans it up. I don't know how it does it, but it does it. So I would highly, highly recommend you go and get this plugin. Like again, like look, it's forty one dollars. Yeah. Well, forty two dollars, forty one ninety nine. Sorry, it it really is affordable. If you're against, you know, putting money into making beats and making better beats, then you shouldn't be doing it just yet. Like, or you should just be doing this as a hobby and and practicing and getting better. But this this one, but this this one in terms of mixing is one that I'd highly highly recommend. There are good there are good free plugins out there like the Camel Crusher, Isotope Vinyl, all that kind of stuff. But if you want things to sound super clean, then you're gonna have to pay a little bit of money into this exciter just to get it there because it really does like it. It sounds way different to any. The plugin that I've been using, and I do test with like other plugins as well, so you know it is what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap the video up there. I've still got stuff to do today, I've got a lot of stuff to do today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I don't actually do this, I haven't actually done this in any of my new vlog type videos. But if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, it really does help. Um, leave a like as well, that helps the videos. Uh, the sooner you like them, 
the more it helps. So, you know, that, that does help all the time as well. Um, but yeah, leave a like, drop me a nice comment as normal. The free webinar is on its way as well. So I'll make an announcement video for that. So if you are subscribed, you will be able to see that when I do announce it. But yeah, that is all for today. I will see you in the next one.